Back in the day, you had to buy an Apple TV device in order to get the capability of mirroring your iPhone, your iMac, or your iPad to your Samsung TV. Well, you don't have to do that anymore. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can use Apple AirPlay that's built into your Samsung and so you can have those capabilities on your Samsung QLED TV. Well, hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. So in today's tech video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can take your TV here and use it with Apple AirPlay. So that way you can mirror whatever you're watching, like on your iPad, or maybe you wanna uh, have a second screen with your iMac, or maybe uh, you just show what's on your phone on a bigger real estate here of a screen. And I'm gonna show you guys how you can do that with the software that's built in to this Samsung QLED TV. So what I have here is I've got a 65 inch QLED, it's the Q80 Samsung device or TV, and it has been a just a fantastic TV for me. The picture on it is fantastic. And I wanted to look at the ability of maybe sitting on my recliner with my laptop and having like a second screen that I can maybe work with. And how cool would it be to have a 65 inch second screen? Uh, well, I'm gonna show you guys how you can do that using the Apple AirPlay that is built inside of this. Now, a few years ago, Samsung did not have this capability built in there. Uh, Samsung didn't play well with Apple, but uh, now the, both companies have come together and they're playing well together and you're able to take without having to buy an Apple, another external device, you're able to just do it wirelessly with the TV and your Apple device. So first thing you wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to grab your remote for this next step and I'm gonna walk you through the process. It's real simple to do. Okay, so grab your remote. If you got your remote in hand, uh, this is the QLED remote, so there's not a whole lot of buttons to it, but right now I've got an ambient screensaver on there that's built into the TV. What you're gonna to wanna to do is hit the home button Okay, there's a home button. Go over to settings right there. Now you're gonna to wanna to push on settings. Not A lot of people like to go to settings and immediately go up to the menu up here like that. But you don't have to do that. Just go to the settings icon and then push your enter button there. All right, so once that comes up, you'll see the icons over here on the left-hand side. Go down to general and then tap on general. Let me turn that volume down. So once you're in general, you're gonna to wanna to go down to AirPlay settings right there, and then push on that. Now it brings up this picture menu here. Um, the Apple AirPlay settings, AirPlay on, make sure that that's ticked on on. The second one here, you wanna make sure that that's on first time only, so that way you're not having to punch in your code every time you're wanting to do this. So I'm gonna put down first time on, make sure AirPlay's on, and then we're gonna to go to the next step. Okay, so now that from this screen, you wanna jump over to your phone. And right now I'm recording on my phone, so I'm gonna go get another recording device to show you guys the next step in this. Also, one other little tidbit of information. This is a question that I get asked a lot. You have to have both of your devices on the same Wi-Fi network in order for this to work. All right, so grab your phone. Let's go to the next step. Okay, so once you got your phone, you're gonna to wanna to go up to the right-hand side here on your iPhone and swipe down, and then you'll see that icon right there that says screen mirroring, and you're gonna wanna select that. All right, and then automatically, my Samsung Q80 QLED pops up on the screen, and then that's how you would mirror to the TV. You would then select that and then mirror it. All right, so once you select it, up on the TV is a code that pops up on my TV. It was a four digit code and I'll go ahead and enter in that code now. Okay, so once you get the code entered in, there'll be a check mark that comes on right there and it's mirroring on my TV, just like so. All right, and then if you wanna stop mirroring, you just go to your phone and you hit stop mirroring. Okay, so one other little tidbit of information. If you noticed, when I was mirroring on my iPhone, it was in portrait mode, so therefore it had the black bars on the side, and it was like that. So if you are mirroring like with an iMac or an iPad, when you do turn it, 
to landscape mode, then it would project across a full screen TV. So that way you can take advantage more of the screen real estate that's on there. But that's how you fix that. Well, hopefully this video was helpful to you if you were looking to, to learn how to airplay to your Samsung QLED TV. If it was, make sure you throw a thumbs up on this. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos all the time and I'd love to have you back on the next one. Until then, get out there and be creative.